Over the course of a month, students from the University of Washington Tacoma engaged in an eye-opening environmental tour of Vietnam. Throughout our trip, we were constantly aware of Vietnam's dependence on its coastline and the threats facing their water supply. Vietnam is defined by water, with over 2,000 miles of coastline and two major river deltas, which provide fertile lands for farming and space to trade on floating markets. We traveled to the city of Da Lat in the mountainous region of central Vietnam. Da Lat, meaning the stream of the Lot people, has a population of 206,000 and a climate similar to that of Washington state. Swang Hong Lake, located in the center of the city, provided a great example of water quality issues occurring all over the country. The beautiful science of the city used the artificial let the survey water so the pollution of the surface water is very important. So um, we have facing with the surface water pollution now. Algae blooms have taken over the surface water. Sediment and agricultural runoff enter the lake and allow algae to thrive and crowd out other organisms like fish and plants. This process, called eutrophication, has greatly decreased the water quality in Vietnam. Next, we visited Cam Lee Waterfall, one of Dalat's famous tourist attractions. This is a very famous uh, sightseeing for the tourism in Dalat. Now we have a problem that the water quality is not good. The water is polluted with the municipal wastewater. So tourism do not want to come here because of the smell, the algae bloom. You can tell that it used to be a really beautiful place, but it just isn't anymore, and it's really sad. It's, um, it smells uh, like garbage, so it's not really appealing. You don't really want to be here very, for very long, but I'm sure that it could have been a really beautiful place at one time, and just it isn't anymore. While at the Kamli Waterfall, a Dalat University student sang Dalat Huang Hong, which is a local song about this beautiful place that is now polluted. Next, we took a trip to see how they purify their water. Professor Hui gave us a tour of Dalat's only wastewater treatment facility. We learned about their unique sanitation technology, which uses anaerobic bacteria, UV radiation, and multiple filtration systems. This type of treatment plant is popular in Vietnam, but they are not enough. In Vietnam, we, have, uh, we uh, prefer the biological technology than the chemical technology, because after the treatment, we, don't, we want to know exactly that no chemical will be added. We believe treatment facilities like this one are a major part of the solution to Vietnam's water quality issues. Organic farmers, like the ones we visited next in Dalat, do not use chemical fertilizers or pesticides that would normally pollute nearby water sources. Therefore, they are another part of the solution. He said that they want to keep the soil in very healthy so we can have the uh, people um, willing to pay more money to have the, um, the safety, the more safety products. So you see that uh, the, the price they sell this organic product is more than three, three times the price of inorganic products. These local farmers truly care about preserving the environment. Their hard work and dedication makes a big difference. Our visit to Dalat was eye-opening to say the least. Water quality is an ongoing problem in Dalat and emblematic of the threats facing the water supply all over Vietnam. <laughs>